Welcome again to our chemistry video series in which we describe how electron orbitals are filled and the basic shape of those orbitals. Last video covered the first two electrons in the 1s shell, so let's dive into this video in the second principal energy level and look at the two electrons in the 2s subshell. Previously we saw each row or period on the periodic table was a principal energy level, and the first two columns or groups, which we know as the alkali and alkaline earth families, show us the first and second electron captured in the principal energy level. The first electron, like we saw for hydrogen, traveled around the atom, not in a rigid path, but we saw a spherical shape in which the electron moves, and we called that shape the orbital, in this case the 1s orbital. And we looked at the helium atom with two electrons. We saw both electrons move around the atom in the same spherical orbital. From the Pauli exclusion principle, we know for two electrons to be in the same orbital, they must have a, a different property, which we call spin. One is spin up and one is spin down. While the first principal energy level only has the 1s shell, the second principal energy level, n equals 2, has the 2s shell, which we'll cover in this video. The second energy level also contains my brother's favorite, the 2p subshells, which we'll cover in the next video. Again, let's look at the periodic table and take the first element in the second energy level, lithium. The symbol is Li, and the atomic number 3 indicates three positively charged protons in the nucleus. To counteract the electrostatic force of the protons, lithium usually has four neutrons. To have a net charge of zero, a neutral lithium atom has three negatively charged electrons balancing the three positively charged protons. We know that the first two electrons are already in the full 1s subshell, so we build the atom up to the next energy level. To do this, we add a new energy level. We start the second shell. This building up is called Aufbau principle, from the German word Aufbauen, which means to build up. As earlier, we follow the electron along and begin to make out the shape of the first orbital in the second principal energy level. This orbital is also spherical. We call this orbital 2s, 2 for the second energy level, and s for sharp, but we also use this to help us remember spherical. The electron, again, does not just move around the surface of the sphere, but generally occupies a region described by a sphere with no hard-to-find edge. So what we see here is the spherical region where the third electron will be about 90% of the time, the 2s orbital. And now, hopefully you can guess where the fourth electron goes. We have beryllium, Be. The atomic number tells us we'll have four positively charged protons, and for beryllium we need five neutrons to hold the atom together. Beryllium has the full 1s subshell with two electrons, and the third already in the 2s shell for lithium. Again, because of the Pauli exclusion principle, a second electron with opposite spin can also go in that 2s subshell. So with both electrons in this shell, we again confirm the spherical shape of the principal energy level n equals 2 and its s orbital, the 2s orbital. Pauli exclusion tells us that this subshell is now full. Still, the electrons are not just on the surface, but again in a cloud or given region described by a sphere with no hard to find edge. For the 2s subshell, we see the same type of spherical region, but with just a larger diameter or radius. Now that we've covered the 2s orbital, this should deepen your understanding of the relationship with the period and the group of the periodic table, especially for the group 1, hydrogen and the alkali family, as this is the first electron that goes in the nth energy level, and it will always be in the nth s orbital. Group 2 and the helium and alkaline family is the second electron added to the nth energy level, and will always go in the nth s orbital. Now take a minute and think. Where do you imagine that sodium and magnesium electrons will go, and what do you think that subshell will look like? You'll see that in a couple of videos. Hopefully, this video you have seen that the second principal energy level, n equals 2, accommodates the third and fourth electron in the atom as we build up energy levels, the off-ball principle. These two electrons with opposite spins fill just a little bit larger but still spherical 2s subshell. Our next video, we will stay in the second principal energy level, n equals 2, and while in the same shell, we'll start our exploration of the shape of the next subshell, which is not spherical. We will look at the P subshells for boron, carbon, and nitrogen, and introduce Hun's rule. We hope to see you in that video, and if you like these videos, please give them a thumbs up or a comment down below, and help the channel grow by telling a friend or becoming a subscriber.